This video clip should give you an overall introduction to what the basic requirements are for teaching CAPS Intermediate Phase Natural Science and Technology. The first is to be aware as a teacher of what what should we be doing and developing in the learners in natural science and technology? Well, the first is the, the aim of the subject is to encourage the ability in learners to be able to speculate, debate, make connections, select and prioritize information, and apply reasoning and insights. All of this is done in 35 hours of contact time per term. And this, of course, is divided equally between your natural sciences and your technology. After intermediate phase, in other words, senior phase, these two become separate subjects. So it's important to develop and instill a love for both of these subjects in the learners. And then, of course, writing skills should be included and developed wherever possible in the subject. There are three key aims for natural science and technology. The first is that doing science and technology must be done through practical processes. The learners must develop this practical ability and they must enjoy it and see how the practical processes work. They also need to be able to understand and connect ideas and apply them into new context. And then, of course, the third and probably the most important is that they need to understand how science and technology is practically used in society and why it's so important in society. If we have a look at the two aspects, natural sciences addresses the natural world and how we can better understand it, whereas technology addresses solving problems through the human-made objects. And this is the connection between the two, and it's essential to form that connection between the two. So in natural sciences, we're looking at life and living, matter and materials, energy and change, planet, earth and beyond, whereas in technology, we're looking at structures, processing, systems and control. And again, it's essential to have that connection. Now let's have a look at an example of this. In natural sciences, they might be looking at the climate change and the effects of global warming. So the learners are learning through investigations, carrying them out and analyzing the results. Whereas in technology, they're looking at man-made designs that could help combat the effects of global warming. And they're learning through making products, design, inventions and productions. And so hopefully that shows you that the connection between the two, and we've got to teach these two with a connection. The combined teaching time for natural science and technology is three and a half hours per week. And it's a, it's a full content, so it's difficult to cover everything. So we've got to make sure we cover it in a practical way that the learners really enjoy. Now, life and living, you'll see the different aspects of grade four, five, and six. This just gives you an overview of what are they learning in life and living. Matter and materials also gives you, gives you an overview, and you'll see in grade six, there's a lot more focus on matter and materials, where they add different aspects to it. Earth and change also gives you different aspects in different years. And then, of course, planet Earth and beyond, where they look at different aspects of the sun, the moon, the earth, rocks, fossils, and so on. Your structures is mainly focused in grade four and five, whereas processing focuses in grade five and then a little bit more in grade six. Systems and control is not taught in grade four, but in grade five, they're introduced to the systems for moving things. And then, of course, in grade six, solving problems, looking into space and systems to explore moon and, the, and Mars. The weighting of the formal tasks at the end of the year is very important. And we need to remember that you've got formal assessments or school based assessments in term one, term two, term three and term four. These four together give you a total of X marks for the school-based assessments for the year. And this is converted to 75% of your progression, your promotion result. The end of the exam counts 25% and these two together make up the 100%. Now you'll see that we've put X marks in there because it's slightly different from grade four, five, and six. What I encourage you to do is after this video clip, download the PDFs that give you the actual breakdown of what is required in each of these grades. Very essential for us to note that many of the different process skills are combined into one task or activity. So therefore you don't have to assess each major skill because we don't actually have enough time to do that. What we need to bear in mind are when we're teaching and when we're assessing, what are the major process skills? And you'll see in natural sciences and technology, they complement each other. And they're slightly different. So make sure you familiarize yourselves with these process skills and include them in all your preparation and your teaching and assessment during the year.